Well, our top story this half hour, COVID knocks a candidate for Southern Minnesota's congressional seat off the campaign trail, and this is all happening just a week before the special election. As political reporter Theo Heath explains, this race is already full of strange circumstances. Thank you for you all being here. A week out from the special election, Farm Fest, Minnesota's yearly agriculture show near Redwood Falls, provided a big stage for the candidates in the 1st Congressional District, including Republican Brad Finstad, a former state rep who calls himself a farm kid and a problem solver. We have a lot of folks in government right now that love to punch each other in the face. They love to call names. They love to scream. They love to lie. But they don't get anything done. His Democratic rival, Jeff Edinger, was home with COVID after testing positive Tuesday morning. Edinger told me he'll stay home the next five days. The former Hormel CEO is betting that a moderate candidate can flip the district from red to blue. I mean, my personal opinion is we need more moderates of any stripe. It seems that the Republican Party's kind of been purging itself of moderates, but I've been welcomed thus far by the Democratic Party's bigger tent. Four-decade high inflation is a key political issue. Finstead says input costs on his farm were significantly higher this spring. I would have asked Jeff, like, well, what's going to be different uh, if, if you get elected? What, what agenda or people will you push for to work with and to, to change that narrative? I haven't heard that message or that vision yet. Edinger says Finstead oversimplifies the blame. It's Mr. Finstead enjoys just blaming it all on the current administration, yet clearly it was kicked off by a global pandemic and we have global inflation. The special election is on the back of the ballot. On the front is the primary for the next two-year term. There, Finstead faces a challenge from GOP state rep Jeremy Munson, who's running despite losing to Finstead in the special primary this May. Munson is campaigning as the most conservative candidate. The seat, which Governor Tim Walz held for more than a decade, has drifted Republican in recent years. Former Congressman Jim Hagedorn won the seat by about 1,400 votes, very close. In 2018, he won by a little bit wider margin of 11,000 votes two years later. In the newsroom, Theo Keith, Fox 9. DFL Governor